Tonight marks the first meeting of the season between these two teams. CSN, your home for Sixers basketball, presents the Sixers taking on the LA Clippers. Sixers and the Clippers. First back to back games for the Sixers tomorrow in Milwaukee. Generally, one of those was credited for discovering Joel Embiid. Griffin for the season. He is their leading scorer. He is clearly forcing the issue. He wants to contend with the jump shot as he was early in his career. Here's Sonny Ilyasova. He does it again. At least. And it's Covington for the Sixers. And that jumper has improved for Blake Griffin, but still not where he wants it to be. Good spot by TJ McConnell. Nick straight for the Sixers. Take the early advantage. After signing a pretty nice little deal over the summer. Three years, 35 million according to reports. That is Reddit, can't leave him open. Sometimes it's like a layup. Guard just about anybody. His versatility has been key in this last month or so. Stauskas, another three, got it. Looks like he's got a decent release. Rivers, who can be troublesome in the open floor, is able to connect. The coach's decision in the Sixers' last game, their loss Saturday at Atlanta. On the floor for the first time, the lob, and that one is taken care of beautifully by Holmes. Holmes against Spates, forced the issue and got it done. Now he's to charge a Crawford, the rather healthy three, and... Once again, the only three-time winner of the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award is Holmes beats Spades down. Nice. Lalo Cabrero nicely done to Holmes, and he threw it down. What year is it now? 2017? Yes. That's a while. The last time I... Hey, who are you telling? <laughs> Reese Spates, you mentioned his in Milwaukee in nine days. Again, they will be without Joel Embiid as they are tonight. Jamal Crawford, the two starters, of course. Griffin, once again, his return after the 18-game absence. It was pretty easy that time for Nick Stauskas. That is Spades. Got to go out and get him. All-Star 9 would be amazing, but if it doesn't happen, it's not something that he should be defeated about because it's definitely coming in his future. Huge crowd at the link. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you gonna learn. The three. <laughs> by the way, by the way, the Clippers, good three-point shooting team, but this is ridiculous. Eight of twelve was Robert Covington. Oh, Crawford's been able to knock down. Their, their shooters have been engaged. In other words, Crawford, Rivers, Reddick. There he is. Oh boy. You know what? He can still play. Yeah, he can. Nerlens Noel. Under a Jordan, the starting center returning as well. He's missed two jumpers already. He's hesitant. Oh, knocked that one down. Under a Jordan, the starting center returning as well. He's missed two jumpers already. He's hesitant. Oh, knocked that one down. Nothing doing for Rivers at the line. DJ McConnell. And back there decided, you know what? I'm going to pull up way before I get to him. Knocking down that little eight footer. Austin Rivers. That little lefty scoop. Clippers have 10 threes in the first half and an emphatic block by Rashawn Holmes. Been injured than they have without Chris Paul. Shows you the importance of the point guard. That's the Sixers' first turnover of the first half and Reddick 17 and very clearly that's been the difference. We talked about it was one of our keys. You've got to get the shooters. Boy, Rashawn Holmes. Landlords? Yeah, I guess, right? Boy, Crawford, he has been terrific off the... Their Jay? His Jay, I should say. They actually worked together in a previous NBA life, Indeed. right? Indeed, and he's been over to Barcelona as well as a 10-month period. So he's basically, on average, playing two games a week. Not the case here. The Wawa Cabarro, after Covington tipped it away. Redick. Oh, and it's hammered in by Griffin. 